Do you know the story of a woman who rose against all odds and created an entirely new domain of science called stellar nucleosynthesis? She was the first of many things. How cool would it be to know about this science superstar? Come, let us explore the inspiring story of Margaret Burbage. This story starts with a girl aged 4 sitting on a boat ride from England to France in the 1920s looking up into the night sky full of stars for the first time in her life little did she know then that her fascination with the night sky would soon become her profession her mother was unlike any other at that time she was determined interested in science and willing to succeed These traits were passed on to the girl as well. Above everything, her mother loved chemistry so much so that she married her chemistry professor. Hence, Margaret was initially inclined towards chemistry and her mother. Her father was an inspiration as well. He gifted her a microscope and a chemistry set. However, when Margaret was 12 years old, her grandfather gifted her Sir James Jeans books on astronomy she was intrigued to know that the nearest star to our planet was 26 billion miles away she decided she would be in a field where numbers and stars matter yes astronomy she went to the university of college london for her university years and the second world war broke out within some time She was given the caretaking responsibility of equipment at UCL. Thus, she got her first opportunity to start her PhD research. After the war ended, she applied for Carnegie fellowship in the Mount Wilson Laboratory. This was the first time she faced gender discrimination in her life, where the rejection letter stated that the fellowships were available only to men. However, she persisted and persevered. She registered for graduate level courses and met the love of her life, Geoffrey Burbage. He became a solid support in all her future scientific endeavors. She and her husband Geoff, Fred Hoyle and William Fowler published a groundbreaking article in 1957 called B square half h. At the same time she also gave birth to a baby who said that women cannot handle a baby and their job coming to the research simply put they discovered that all the heavier elements and thus the life giving elements formed from the stars in their core in fact fowler received the nobel prize in 1983 for the same discovery even after becoming a pioneer in her field Burbage faced continuous discrimination. She was not allowed to be at Mount Wilson Observatory with her husband, citing that female washrooms were unavailable and that the staff would object to working under the directions of a woman. Her passion for watching the night sky became a reality in the McDonald's Observatory in Texas. She was denied the opportunity in Britain, but as most Americans know, the american dream always gets fulfilled in 1972 she was chosen as the director of the royal greenwich observatory but the title astronomer royal which was a default to the position was conferred to a male she even refused to accept the 1971 canon prize as it was awarded only to women astronomers burbage considered a prize available only to a woman discriminatory as well She had a clarity that the fight was against discrimination not men. In fact, she wrote in her autobiographical essay, "But young and old, enough fair-minded men have been and are dedicated fighters for equal opportunities." She continued to become a pioneer in the field of astrophysics and stellar nucleosynthesis and authored over 370 research articles and added many more accomplishments to her name. Her story taught me two things and hope it teaches you the same. Burbage was way ahead in science compared to other humans at that time because of the liberal mindset of her mother and father. Moreover, she learned science from her parents very young 
which was her unfair advantage. She never derailed her love for science, which kept her going no matter how difficult the situation became. Whenever Burbage faced discrimination, she didn't sit in a corner and cry or become sulking and stoic. She instead acknowledged it and tried finding another way. In fact, her message to young women was, if frustrated in one's endeavor by a stone wall or any kind of blockage, one must find a way around another route towards one's goal. This is the advice the science superstar has given to many women facing similar situations. We could not agree more. So that is the video sapiens. Hope you enjoyed it. If so, please like and subscribe to our channel. Even if you don't do that, make sure that you share this video with as many women as possible, including your mothers and sisters. It is a story every woman should watch and celebrate. Thank you.